Hello and welcome my Libra friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for my friends born under the Libra Zodiac sign. This is a follow-up reading from a spread I did in September to celebrate service dogs, in particularly guide dogs. I've been drawn to complete a more in-depth reading for my Zodiac friends on what they're not seeing. I'm going to look at what's right in front of your eyes and your third eye and ways that we can kind of overcome that and resolve some of the issues. The deck I'm using for this reading is the Tarot of the Hidden Realm, and then I'll be ending the session off with an Oracle Blessing from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Like always, there's links below to both these gorgeous decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. All right, my Libra friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What is it that my Libra friends aren't able to see that is right in front of their eyes? And that's the Ten of Swords. It's kind of a scary card to start off on, but there's a lot of meaning behind it. Tens are a completion and a beginning card, while swords are about truth and knowledge. The Ten of Swords, being right in front of you, talks about the inability to see how to overcome all those emotions we've attached to situations and events. The events and situations are the, the swords. Swords don't have emotion. They're, they're cold steel. We can't hurt their feelings. We, as an emotional being, have attached meaning and feelings to events and situations that have occurred. So what's right in front of us is the ability to overcome that. However, we can't see how to do that. Let's look at what the challenge is for seeing this. Like, What is the obstacle for us to truly see how to go forward? Oh, she's a beautiful card. That's the High Priestess. She's the second card in the Major Arcana. And she's the gatekeeper of universal knowledge, access to intuition, and hidden talents that we have. We're resisting this gatekeeper. She talks about transition and moving forward. That resistance, whether it is something intentional or not, is there. We need to flip her from an obstacle to an ally to help us really overcome the ten and overcome all those feelings that we've attached to these situations. The Ten of Swords historically does talk about that new day, getting up and going forward. The High Priestess really will help us do that. However, right now she's an obstacle. We need to kind of put her back on her feet so she can continue and take our hand and help us evolve to that next level. All right, that's what's in front of our face, in front of our physical eyes. Let's look at what our third eye can't see. And that's the seven of wands. Sevens are a conflictual number However, they talk about victory as well. Wands are about that inner passion, that fire and that drive. The third eye, if it were open, would be able to see how to truly connect in with that deeper passion, that deeper sense of self and move it forward and really be able to get you to that next space. However, your third eye can't see how to do that can't see how to connect into that deeper meaning, how to connect into yourself a little bit more so that things are more meaningful for you. Right now, the third eye is blind to that. So let's look at the obstacle that you have to face for your third eye. That's the nine of cups. Nines are all about that hard work that you've done to achieve what you have so far. Cups are about that intuition and emotion. What's really impacting your ability to use your third eye and see that next step is that complacency that we have because we have achieved so much. Your ego is feeding on that. Why would we work harder when we have achieved so much? And that's what's going to really impact your ability not only to 
start using your Claire's. However, seeing what's there. These two aspects are the same picture, just at different vibrations. We are talking about going forward to that next chapter. Yes, the High Priestess can help us out. Not only can the High Priestess help us move forward in connecting in with her intuition, she has access to the universal knowledge. She's the gatekeeper. She can help us remember how to use our clairs. We have that ability. Some of us have shut down and some of us have never remembered. We knew how to use this stuff when we, before we were reincarnated. However, now it's kind of information that we've forgotten. All right, so let's see how we can overcome some of these challenges and maybe put the High Priestess as an ally rather than an obstacle. Oh, what a beautiful card. I love this card. The Fool. He just looks so happy. He's the zero card of the Major Arcana. There's no beginning and no ending. He is always on that new beginning and he talks about that journey, that need to keep going forward. No matter what life throws at us, that need to go forward and not only go forward, but do it with understanding and belief that the universe has not only got our back, but they have a plan for us. When we listen to that information, we are really able to move forward and really able to find meaning in our lives and have more fulfilling experiences in our lives. To really embrace that kind of leap of faith energy is really important and really will take you far in kind of overcoming that complacency that the ego is really going to be pushing, but will also help you start to turn the High Priestess. Knowing that the universe has got your back and really embracing that aspect, the High Priestess will start to turn because she is the wisdom keeper of the universe, if you will, in tarot. All right, let's look at what we can do to aid this in going forward. Another beautiful card, the Queen of Swords. Queens are that feminine nurturing energy that uses its element to help bring you forward. So with the Queen of Swords, you're looking at truth and knowledge. Yes, it's a feminine nurturing energy. However, she's got the sword of truth and knowledge. She is butt kicking strong. And what she's asking you to do is take the knowledge that you've learned from past experiences, this 10, and use the knowledge rather than the emotion to help you move yourself forward battle the nine and really embrace the seven and this next chapter that the the high priestess is covering the queen of swords has learned all her her knowledge through life experience and it's that life experience that we talk about in the ten that's really going to help push that fool along he's kind of directionless and and doesn't have that motivation he's got too free flowing the queen really gives him direction and orders so she can really direct and get things done. So let's look at our first step. What is the first step that we need to do in this journey to get things to go forward? And that's the Knight of Cups. Knights are that adolescent energy that's that go big or go home, nothing can touch me. Cups are about that intuition and emotion. It's using that knight energy of not being afraid to take on and embrace that intuition. Whether it's something that we have consciously thought of or if it's a subconscious kind of ego driven aspect, connecting into our intuition and our higher self can be really scary and we, we kind of resist it a lot. So embracing that aspect will help you move forward in going into this next chapter. All right, my Libra friends, let's look at what your shadow card wants to add. It's the Nine of Wands. Again, this is about that, all that you've achieved and all the, that hard work. However, we're back into the passion. This is about really embracing that inner drive that has brought you so far. 
it's he's coming out or transforming into a phoenix there and that's kind of what we need to do is kind of look at this new rebirth that next chapter now we do have double nines on the table we have the nine of wands and the nine of cups in angel messages when you're looking at the double nines it's time to work on your life purpose this, the deeper meaning and purpose to your soul and that's truly what we're looking at here that deeper meaning being able to go and dive a little bit more into yourself and those passions all right let's look at the blessing what blessing got a jumper here oh actually two jumpers all right so the first one that jumped out was little brother little sister siblings younger friends and responsibilities these little dragons are going to help us. We have a lot of responsibilities. We've come quite far. We know that. It's really embracing those responsibilities and kind of kicking them up a notch. The second one that jumped out was Kitsune. I will show you whom to trust. So it's about not only trusting in the universe, but trusting in ourselves. It's trusting in the universe and all that has brought us, those responsibilities, those, those pieces that have helped us get so far in our lives, that helped us create ten swords in our back. Trust in that. Trust in this process. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading, however, I drew these cards especially for my Libra friends. What further information do they have for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for a more personal or specific topic, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who wish or are interested, I'm running introductory interactive classes over the next couple of months. The first one's going to be on November 11th. I'm going to be running my Introduction to Angels in Archangels class. Then on December 9th, I'll be running my Introduction to Connecting or Channeling class. If you're interested in either or both of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a helpful link below to my classes page for further information. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you're able to gain some direction and insight into what it is that you're missing and how you can go forward with it. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. I will continue to create more videos for my Zodiac friends in the upcoming weeks. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I am always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. As you can see here, you never know where I'm going to go next, and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Libra friends.